we are saints and patriots. Um, I'm going to title this video, What If 2030? Um, there's been a lot of, I've been, I'm going to claim, this is what I'm gonna, how I'm going to put it. I feel overwhelmed because there's so much happening in current events that correlate with the word of God. And it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, my next video, what am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? And it's very, um, I don't want to say aggravating, but it, it's, it, it's, I have to figure out what I'm going to talk about next, what's going to be next, what's going to be next, and so on. Because um, I want to get this information to people so that you understand that time is short on this earth. Time is short. We're approaching the, the book of Revelation here. That's where we're at. Um, very quickly, a lot sooner than you think. Um, and I'm good with that. <laughs> so, um, I was, the other week I was reading, it's, it was either an article or me concerning, or watching a video, I, I can't remember which, concerning 2030. And a thought came to mind, why are these people pushing so hard for the reset, all this that they're trying to do to push for reset, um, newer order, they're the same thing by 2030. And I got to thinking, we're at about 2,000 years from the death of Christ, the death and resurrection of Christ. That's what 2030 puts us at. Now, um, Jesus was, probably wasn't born in 1 AD. He was probably born in 4 BC. And um, I, I, there's, um, I think, the supporting evidence from Josephus, who was a um, scholar, a Jewish scholar at that time. And um, in Luke 23, 3, 23 um, it says that Jesus began his ministry and he was about 30 years of age. When you look at the number of Passovers that came during that time period, it's three, which means that, and, and a lot depends on when that first Passover uh, fell, when it came um, during his ministry. Um, so if it came early in this ministry, his ministry is more than likely two and a half years. If it came later um, as he started his ministry, then it puts it probably close to um, three, three and a half years. So if he's 30, and if he was born in 4 BC and he's 30, this is about 26 AD. His ministry lasts about three and a half years, what puts it, his death and resurrection in 30 AD. Add 2000 to that and you have 20, the year 2030. 2030 is approximately 2000 years from the death and resurrection of Jesus. Now, whether this is deliberate or coincidental or just by plan of God or something that Satan is trying to bastardize by using man, you have to remember Satan presents himself as a being of light. Um, you have to realize that once they set up the society, you have the elites and I'm going to post a separate video about this uh, concerning their lust for money and power. And, and I, I described it to somebody as to the point of it's orgasmic for them to, them to have money and power. I mean, it's a little, seems a little slutty in reference, but when you look at how they are, I think it's appropriate. Anyhow, I, I thought I'd put that out there to really make you think that this is whether, like I said, it, this this can be part of the plan. I I really don't think it's coincidental that they're pushing for 2030. 
that this is somehow related to hitting the 2000th anniversary of the death and resurrection of Jesus. I'm going to leave it right there.